，沙特阿拉伯知名的异议记者卡舒吉疑似遭人暗杀事件有最新的进展。美国媒体爆料，一份可靠的报告点明，沙特王储穆罕默德·萨勒曼事前早已经是知晓了，并批准捉拿或者是杀害卡舒吉的行动。当局随后立马宣布制裁一名沙特前高官以及一个特别行动小组。在放话表明，即便美国和沙特的盟友关系良好，但是也到了重新。校准的时候。The Department of the Treasury is sanctioning、uh, former Saudi、uh, Deputy Head of General Intelligence、uh, Ahmed Al Asiri for his direct role、uh, in the Istanbul operation that murdered Mr. Khashoggi.、Uh, we're also designating、uh, the Saudi Rapid Intervention Force as an entity under the Global Emergency Act for its participation、uh, in this、um, in, in this murder. I would say the relationship with, with with Saudi Arabia is an important one. We have significant、uh, ongoing interests. We remain committed to the defense、uh, of the kingdom,、uh, but we also want to make sure, and this is what the president has said from the outset, that the relationship better reflects our interests and our values. And、uh, so, what we've done by the actions that we've taken、uh, is really not to rupture the relationship, but to recalibrate it. 美国国家情报总监办公室星期五发布了一份四页解密评估报告，指沙地王储穆罕默德·萨勒曼为将卡舒奇视为是对沙地王室有威胁的人，因此批准手下有必要的话采取暴力手段，包括俘获或者是杀死对方，好让他不再发言，对王室不利。报告公开之后，美国也已经向七十六名沙地公民实施签证限制，但是沙地外交部强烈否认，坚称报告。内容完全错误、虚假，而且不可接受。一名白宫官员透露，其实早在美方揭露这份命案报告的前一天，美国总统拜登和沙地国王沙尔曼就已经是通话，但是没有公开或说明谈话的内容，只形容是时候重新矫正两国的关系，甚至表明总统拜登其实有意向沙地政府传达重要的讯息。王储穆罕默德可能是错误的接班人选。